are just days away from what could be the most important Apple event. June 5th, Apple will be introducing its uh, next big thing. We There's some stuff coming that is extremely good. Apple's VR headset has been stuck in development hell for the last few years. With news outlets reporting that the headset is coming this year, but eventually getting delayed every year. But now, we have signs that the headset is coming soon. The headset is expected to be revealed in June 2023 at Apple's developers conference. This video covers what we know about the headset, why it's in development hell, and why we expect it to be revealed in June. The Apple headset is expected to have dual 4K resolution micro OLED screens. The headset is rumored to be standalone and wireless, called the Reality Pro, with their own OS called XROS. First off, let's start with the price. The headset is rumored to launch at a price of 3000 USD. Why so high, you might ask? Well, the strategy of Apple is to launch this device as a developer kit to build apps and an ecosystem for future generations of the VR headset. The second generation of this headset is rumored to launch in 2025 and this will be the consumer grade headset meant for everyone to use. Apple's strategy here is to make VR so cool everyone would want to use it without everyone being able to afford it. This is the same strategy Oculus executed with its Oculus Rift. This device was expensive and was meant to showcase how awesome VR could be before creating the Oculus Quest which was meant for the mainstream audience. The difference now though is that Meta is missing a flagship VR headset that pushes the maximum out of what is possible in VR today. The flagship Quest Pro fails to deliver on really showcasing on what is possible, since this is still a consumer grade headset. What do you get for this high price tag? Well, the bill of materials has been leaked and posted by Brad Lynch. The headset is expected to cost around 1400 or 1600 USD to produce, making this the double of what the Quest Pro costs to produce, that is around 800 USD. Most of the costs are going to the dual chipset using the M2 chip and two micro OLED displays from Sony, together with the pancake lenses for a small form factor with automatic IPD adjustment. Interestingly, the headset will also have a special shaped OLED screen from LG, rumored to be used for the reverse pass-through so other people can still see you. There are 16 sensors on board for all the tracking on the headset. The headset will have an external battery pack and it has been rumored that it might be a puck that you will carry around in your pocket to reduce the weight in the headset. Currently, it's not known if the headset will ship with controllers, since gaming will not be the primary use case for this device. The reason why the headset is getting delayed every year is because there are rumors that the Apple design team is not happy with the way the headset is currently launching. The design team actually wants the tech to catch up until they can wear slim form factor goggles instead of a big bulky headset. Tim Cook, on the other hand, forced the move to launch earlier than expected, with rumors even mentioning that the team said yes to keep him happy. Why is the headset coming now? Well, we have a lot of signs showing up that the headset is coming soon, with the founder of Oculus, Paul Morlocky, tweeting about it. Also, letting us know that he tested an early version of the headset, which was Awesome. Currently, we have XR News outlets being invited to the WDC conference on the 5th June of 2023, which has never happened. And we have all this information being leaked about the headset, including the bill of materials. Yep, it's coming boys. Also just watch at this small teaser clip. It's telling that this is a lens, right? I expect that VR will be hotter than ever after the 5th of June and a lot of hype will exist around the Apple VR headset. Apple will make VR cool again by using their marketing machine. However, the real problem with this headset is the cost. It's too expensive. If you really want to know which headset is coming this year that is affordable, you got to watch this video next.